Good morning, folks. Sprites, the lightning phenomenon. I hope to soon be doing a video on star water, harp, and everything that's happening to this planet, but you need to know what sprites are and how the Stanford VLF group took their study to the next level. This is Japan, only it's not old footage. This is from yesterday. Torrential rain has swept away buildings and people. In a much worse scenario, Nigeria is seeing flooding that is isolating entire towns and already killed at least 28. Right back to Japan for some terrible news. This is a TikTok world kind of situation. We will soon learn how poisoned we really are. There is no doubt about it. They can say that these were deleted as false readings, but even I was able to catch these five pointers from California on Intellicast hours late. They apparently wiped these from the data and this isn't like downgrading a quake a little bit five pointers in California. How would we not notice that? We had two nuclear reactors taken offline recently due to power and cooling issues. Calgary had a violent wind event cause damage there. Best news today is the mid-Atlantic rocking here and a little bit up north was our scariest seismic action for the day. I'm hoping somebody can explain this pre-sunrise heat bloom in SoCal and Baja. Anybody know locals or any other way to vet this? It's not exactly my specialty. We had another gamma burst last night, technically it was this morning, came from down south in the Constellation Telescopium. This is from yesterday. From right of the central active regions you see a mild double ejecta north and south. I also showed you that NASA's endless spiral showed this small cloud potentially going to give us a love tap. Well, I thought we had lost Noah's endless spiral, but they just changed the link. Noah likes to show multiple CMEs like those from that clear multi-eruption event. Each is small and poses only moderate threat. Point is, you now have both links in the info box. Last two days of solar wind demonstrate the rise from entering the coronal hole stream. We should be exiting that today or tonight and return briefly to solar wind quiet. As for this flare watch, you remember I said the central sunspots facing Earth weren't too scary and how this view on Stereo B, with the Earth off to the right, showed our recurring coronal hole in the center disk but no bright active regions set to turn and face Earth. I had myself convinced that any big flares during this watch would have to come from those regions on the left, facing away from Earth. But then, on the north spot facing Earth, I noticed last night a tiny positive blue spot forming on the outside right corner of the double negative region. I thought that was odd and made sure to take a closer look this morning and we now have tiny sunspots on both sides of the region and both are positive blue. This has a chance of threatening Earth as long as it is maintained. And as we look at that active region, we see it go from one on top of the other to lateral side by side movement. Eyes open folks, she is already starting to clear her throat. As for the quake watch, uh, yikes. Glad we got a day off, but it's technically not done yet. This massive South Pole Corona hole is almost facing Earth. Moon passes Mercury today on its way to a new moon soon. That's the news, folks. Be safe.